Welcome to DrillingContractor.org. I'm Alex Indris, and I'm here at the 2016 IADC Annual General Meeting in Scottsdale. And joining me here is Mike Garvin, Senior Vice President of Operation Support at Patterson UTI Drilling. Here at Annual General Meeting, uh, Mike won the 2016 IADC Contractor of the Year Award. Mike, uh, first of all, congratulations. And uh, can you tell me what does winning this award mean to you personally? Well, thank you, Alex. Uh, it, it's really hard to think about what it means to be personally. There's just so many people involved here. It's, 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 I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding what it means to me personally. I think what it really means is I'm, I'm just surrounded by a lot of good people. Uh, I work for a wonderful organization with a lot of good people. And really, I've just been given the opportunity to do things that I think a lot of other people would, would like to do, but just haven't been given the opportunity. And when you think back and reflect on your career, uh, what are you most proud of? I think probably take pride the most in the reduction of our, of, our, of our TRI rate in the industry. You know, we've just done a wonderful job of ensuring that uh, we take care of our people, that we watch out for their, their safety and, and their well-being. Over the course of my career, I've, just, I've seen the industry just take, on, uh, take that on as, as such a larger emphasis, and uh, we're just doing such a good job of taking care of our people. And uh, during your acceptance speech, you said that this award is about things that have been done, but what you're really more concerned about is what the industry still has left to do. And uh, in your mind, what does the industry still have to achieve? I think everything, Alex. You know, we, we've had wonderful accomplishments over the years, but when you look at the things that have been done, we're just breaking the ice. You know, um, well control standards made great strides, but there's still so much more to do with well control. Competency and training, again, have made good, good strides, but there's still just so much more to do. You look at it from an advocacy standpoint, uh, again, we're, we're getting out there, but we seem to be, again, constantly defending ourselves. And so we have so much more to do to educate the public on all the wonderful things we do in our industry and so much we have to be proud of. Well, Mike, uh, thanks for joining us today, and uh, once again, congratulations. Thank you, Alex. And thank you, viewers, for joining us today at drillingcontractor.org.